Tesla Model 3 versus Model Y, which one should you buy? Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be comparing the new Tesla 2020 models, the Model 3 and the Model Y. It's something that has us all excited, mainly due to the new additional features that we'll look at in this video. But before we continue, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more Tesla videos. So let's get right into it. So the main difference between the Model 3 and the Model Y is the ground level clearance. Just by looking at the two vehicles, it is clear that there isn't much to separate them in design. They have the same face, same lower grille, and LED headlights. However, you will notice that the Model Y is taller. In fact, there's an extra inch of ground level clearance on the Model Y. That means it's the better choice for off-roading. The Model Y is lower and therefore great for track racing due to the lower center of gravity. Track Mode If track mode is a must-have for you, then the Model 3 should be your choice. Track mode, as the name suggests, enhances performance on the track. Here, the vehicle is lowered to increase center of gravity, and launch control is set automatically. Unfortunately, the Model Y lacks and does not include this feature. We even asked a Tesla representative about it, and there is no plan to introduce the feature on the Model Y. Rear Windows Another difference you will notice between the two cars is the darker tint on the Model Y's rear windshield. Compared to the Model 3, it is way darker. But there is a reason for this. Since the Model Y does not come with a shade or cover for the trunk region, the tint acts as a privacy measure for your cargo. On the other hand, the Model 3 has a rear deck that covers cargo in the trunk, in addition to the slight tint. Size As we've mentioned before, the Model Y is taller than the Model 3. However, it is also larger, but this might be difficult to notice due to the general resemblance of the models. The Model Y is larger and takes after the large Model X. It is 2.2 inches longer and 2.8 inches wider than the Model 3, which is something you should keep in mind when choosing between them. Additionally, it is 6.5 inches taller, which is considerably larger than the sedan Model 3. If you're often parking your car in tight spaces, the Model 3 might be the one for you. Interior Both the Model Y and 3 continue with the minimalist interior design seen in previous models. There is a long piece of wood trim across the front dash, while with a 15-inch long center touchscreen, both units do not have speedo in front of the steering wheel. The major difference between their interior layouts lies in the wireless charging pads. The Model Y comes with a standard wireless charging pad in the phone docking area. For the Model 3, you have to pay an additional amount for this to be installed. However, this will be included in the 2021 Model 3. Type C ports. Still on the interior, the Model Y is the first model to come with the Type C charging ports. There is one USB C and one USB A at the front, as well as two USB C in the rear. With the switch to the new ports, charging power is boosted from 10 watts to 26 watts, which is quite something. The Model 3, on the other hand, features only USB A ports. However, new Model 3s made in China have started adapting to the new ports. Differences between Model Y and Model 3 From the table, the Model 3 is much more affordable. There's also more seating capacity on the Model Y, which is what makes it a suitable family SUV. Note that the features above are for the standard models with no trims. Tesla Model 3 vs. Model Y – Overview and Features Tesla Model 3 2020 The new Model 3 was released in Spring 2020. Like previous models, it is a sedan built for both luxury and fun, and fits in both categories perfectly. It came in three trim levels – Standard Range Plus, Long Range, and a Performance Trim. There's also a standard range model that's available on special order. Each trim provides different driving experience, acceleration, and range. 
Standard Range Model First, the Standard Range Plus provides 250 miles of range. It is also a rear-wheel drive and comes with the usual 15-inch screen with a navigation system, Bluetooth, and autopilot mode. Long Range In addition, the Long Range offers 322 miles of range and is an all-wheel drive vehicle. Included is also a premium sound system, plus all the features of the standard model. Performance Trim This is the best version of the Model 3 you can buy. It has similar range as the Long Range, but is more fine-tuned to deliver more power and provide the ultimate high-speed thrill. Because of this, it is also equipped with performance brakes and lower suspension. Tesla Model Y 2020 The 2020 Tesla Model Y is basically a small SUV designed for luxury and comfort. It follows the Model X in Tesla's lineup of electric SUVs. However, the Model Y is more similar to the Model 3 than the X. For instance, the doors open normally on the Model Y and three, unlike the butterfly doors on the Model X. On top of this, the Model Y comes in two main versions, long range and performance trims. Long range. As the name suggests, the long range Model Y offers 316 miles on a single charge. It is also super fast, clocking just 4.8 seconds from zero to 60 miles per hour. It is also fitted with 14 high-quality sound speakers for the ultimate music experience. Furthermore, it comes with all standard Tesla features from adaptive cruise control to lane assistance. Performance The performance trim comes with all the features of the long range with a few additional ones. First, it is faster, clocking in 3.5 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour. It also has full driving capability, bigger wheels, improved suspension, and brakes that drop its range to about 290 miles on a single charge. Lastly, Tesla promises a 2021 Model Y with two optional additional back seats and a new console center design. So which one should you buy? If you're looking for a daily driver Tesla on a budget, the Model 3 Long Range would be the ideal choice for you. Not only is it jet fast, it also has one of the longest lasting batteries on a Tesla. But if you want an all-around Tesla with super track performance, comfort, and long range, I recommend the Model Y. What do you guys think? Would you go for the Model Y or Model 3? Tell us in the comment section below. Also like if you enjoyed this comparison and subscribe for more Tesla videos. Thanks for watching.